saving lives, molecules, part of being you. San Miguel Beer, kay sarap ng rig. And Carter Briefs, the official underwear of the UAAP. It's a full pack gallery as far as the De La Salle Green Archers are concerned. And also on the side of FU, more to watch the Tamaras defend their title this evening. And they need to win this one. But La Salle only a game away from their championship the last eight years. A game away, uh, partner. Good evening, basketball fans. You know, La Salle, they've got about 70% of the crowd here. That's what FPU will have to guard against. Secondly, Jim, I feel the Tam Rao should come out and play as if there were no tomorrow. I mean, they, they, they seem to be, they seem to have feared La Salle in that first game, okay? So, no fear. They should show no fear. They should come in and just play ball as they were the whole uh, elimination round. I think they played very well there. Uh, also, their turnovers again, Jim, I sound like a broken record, but... Before we go on, let's give out some awards. Let's call out the people that are going to present. I'd like to call on the senior board member for UST, Mrs. Felicitas Francisco. Okay, the first awards will be given to the mythical selection, the mythical five for the women's division. Garnering 551 points. Average 10.4 rebounds, 14.4 points, and 51% from the two-point line from De La Salle, Don Carlos Aliado. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1998 UAAP Mythical Five. The second mythical team from USP, Richard Yee, from UE, Jose Villar, from UP, Alan Gamboa, from UE, Aldwin Manubag, and from Ateneo, Enrico Villanueva. Okay, now it's time to award Carlos Aliado! There you go, serious game face of the MVP, Don Carlos Aliado. will be back with the ball game proper after these reminders. A throbbing Araneta Coliseum, you can see it on your screen right now. Ready for game number two of the 61st UAAP Season Seniors Division Championship. We're in the finals, and we'd like to compare the numbers. Yes, uh, Jim, right here, we see that last game where uh, La Salle blew out uh, the Tom Rouse by a margin of 25 points. They led in everything. Look at that field goal percentages. 24 out of 44, that's 54%. 29%, only 29% for FEU, 17 out of 58. Defensive rebounds, La Salle led 26 to 16. Steals, I think Dino Aldeguer had 5 or 6, 11 to 5. And this is a big stat right here. Points of turnovers, 30 in favor of La Salle, FEU, only 12. So that's a big stat there. You know, you don't, even if you turn the ball over, you don't allow your opponents to score on you, but that's what happened. That's why I just feel FEU has to be focused. Jimmy, they've got to remain focused. Forget the crowd, forget the reps, just play ball. And right now, we've got uh, this check from Luigi Trillo on our left side. Okay, thanks, guys. I talked before to Coach uh, Franz Pumar, and he said, I told him, Coach, why fix something that's not broken? And he said, Luigi, exactly my point. We're going to keep on trapping. That's what brought us the last time. And we're going to keep it the same way. Let's see what we have over at the Tamara side with Ella. Okay, thank you, Luigi. Here on the Tamara side, Coach Danny Gavieres and the rest of the FU, they 
are dead serious about this game. They stayed in the dugout. They were locked in there, focusing on this game. After all, it's their last chance. Well, I was able to get just one word from Coach Danny Gavieras. I asked him, Coach, how do you feel about this game? He feels really good about it. So let's see what happens. We don't know much now, but I promise to keep you posted during courtside check. So just watch for it. Back to you guys. You know, the gallery right behind us will refuse to be denied a crack at this title. It's been a drought of eight years. On the other side, right in front of us, the defending champions, the gallery is much bigger than the last game. It's FPU versus De La Salle in a moment. He's doing it. The official underwear of the UAAP. Shortly there will be calling the lineups for the two squads. And it's right. going to be Uy Orfresho, Aliado Ritualo, and Aldiguer for De La Salle. And for FEU, it will be Magtulis, Victoria, Nikdao, Cruz, and Chaneco. Our referees will be Brian Tabanyag and Tags Ortesa. Tags. Rather, Tags Certesa. Certesa, yes, partner. And, uh, well, we have about 40 seconds, 50 seconds before the start of this ball game. I want to say, uh, Jim, I, I really feel that uh, the senior player in this FEU squad should, should take over now. No? And we talk about people like Magtulis, uh, Manabat. Uh, okay, let's see. That Manabat, Medina, Medina should also step up because uh, that game, that last game against De La Salle, they they were listless. They didn't play with uh, no. They came out without any fire, and uh, even Coach Danny Gabriel said that no, no so, focus. Uh, so that's what they have to do. Lead their uh, team here. That's right. So many errors in the first quarter for that ball game that left them in the dust, so to speak for game number one. A different ball game for this afternoon, but as we have mentioned earlier, the gallery, as far as Del Sol is concerned, seems like uh, they're resolved not to be denied a title that has long been for denied them. Oh yes. Matter of fact, you can see a lot of flashlights on the FEU side because it's overflowing here as far as Sal is concerned. A, oh. quest, a question to you, partner. Speaking of the gallery, that's going to be a factor for this ball game. But from the way the Tamaras played in the first game, would you expect a more physical game from the Tamaras against the Archers for the second one? They'll probably come out and play a more physical game, yes, because they couldn't they couldn't seem to contain the Green Archers in that first game, no? And uh, we know FU, it's a very proud team, and they'll probably try to win this game to extend the series, but. Wow, this crowd of Pasal going bananas here. Their first five is about to be announced, and look at that crowd. The pack. Wow. I would say this crowd, oh, crowd about 18, 19,000. LaSalle's got about 12,000 here. In game number one, Magtulis steps up for the Tamaraz, but it was only Magtulis, and you can't win championships alone. Oh, that's very true. Part for the Archers, a real, really good team effort on defense to start off the ball game and then everybody contributed in scoring. Ryan Tabanyag tags Certeza. Our referees for game number two. 61st UAAP season seniors division championship. The defending champions, the FU Tamaraos. This jump ball brought to you by Petron. The wave of change. Wow! What happened to that ref? <laughs> Talk about an excited referee. Even yes. Don Aliado told him that uh, not too high, sir. <laughs> Let's do it just right. There you go. It's tag two. Kalijan Orfresho. And Dino Aldeguer, who leads the league in assists, is leading the attack for the Green Archer. So Don Aliado, back to Dino. And Redren Ritualo, part of the mythical five. This year's MVP has it at the right corner, guarded by Nick Dow. That has been his space. The first shot of the ball game doesn't drop. And the first offensive for the Tamaraos starts. With well, Salino Cruz crossing the timeline now to Chaneco. That's right, partner. And we see here a man-to-man -man defense again. That's very typical of Del Sal. They'll always go to that man-to-man -man, uh, press and complete denial. Seven seconds on their shot clock. Ronald Magtulis is fouled. No, it's an offensive foul on Ronald Magtulis, warding off Kali Orfresho. Right, he used his arm 
That was a hook, a hook by Magdulis. Watch this. Right here, that left hand will go in. Right there. And that's a no-no in basketball. So that will go against you. Dino Aldeguer will be up against Salino Cruz and now Don Aliado. This time, outside the rainbow line. Dominic Boy, Dino Aldeguer. Red Red Ritualo is free for a moment. Same way Aliado missed, but this time they get the offensive rebound. That's Ruth, very active in that offensive boy, the last lights, and they keep ball possession here. Dino Aldeguer calls for play number one. To the other side, there's a pick set up by Dominic Oy. Met by Victoria, the lob is too high for Dominic Oy to jump for. Well, <laughs> we're here in the opening minutes, and uh, a minute and 29 seconds passed, and uh -huh. still no scoring from either side. There's a full court press of De La Salle. FE was not able to handle that the last time around. Oh, they throw that ball away. Shades, shades of Monday night. In his mind, Ronald McToolis was there. Actually, he left his spot and no one there to catch that basketball. First turnover for the Tamaraos. You can see constant movement on the part of De La Salle. As you see, yes. he will sink that. Breaking the ice for game number two. 18 minutes remaining. McTulli is asking for some help here. And the defensive pressure is on from De La Salle. And they go to Chaneco. Chaneco looking at the timeline, crossing it, passing off to the other side, giving it back to Salino Cruz. Ronald McTulis takes a jumper. It doesn't drop. Too early for celebration for McTulis. Uh -huh. That ball has to drop first before he raises his arms like a touchdown. Now, Dino Aldeguer, the ball fake. He's free for a moment, passes off. Calior Fresno, left quarter court. 17 seconds on the clock. Aliado is well guarded, but no one and Dominic Oy. And the shot was too strong, and Nick Dao picks up the rebound. LaSalle missing easy baskets underneath, huh? 17 minutes and 11. LaSalle breaking the ice. FEU has yet to score. Chaneco almost bobbled. They give it back out. Dino Aldeguer knew where the ball was going. And Dino using the left hand. Dino Aldeguer will always get his steals every game. They've got to watch out when they give those passes. And Dino Aldeguer has now developed into a more mature and very threatening point guard. For De La Salle, and they have a 4-0 lead. And that's the dreaded defense of De La Salle that kept FEU at the low of 18 at the half last Monday. So they are continuing with that very good uh, defensive rotation. We have number nine man, Carlos, coming in for Chaneco. So Coach Danny Gavieres with an early substitution made here. Ronald Bactulis for the inbound. From that corner, the looper, it doesn't drop over the top. The defensive rebound to Ren Ren Ditualo. Dino sizes up the situation, gives the thumbs up sign together with Cali Orfrecio. Orfrecio is well guarded by Bactulis. The ball's at low post, and now Don Aliado with the handoff to Dominic Oy. That will not count. The foul came before that. Uh, Nick Dao fouling oh, Don Nick Aliado. Dao. But what a good, what a good dish uh, Aliado had to Dominic Oy. And, uh, okay, they're going for play number two now. We really see, we can see here, Jim, that uh, Coach Franz Pumarin, he always likes to go to the patterns huh, as far as half court offense is concerned. And he wants a lot of his players to touch that basketball before taking an attempt. Turnovers, FEU already with three. Dominic Oy, the foul is away from the play. It will go against Mark Stevens, Victoria. So FEU now foul with... Victoria. That'll be the first on Victoria, uh -huh. and that's three team fouls now yes. for FU. De La Salas none. 16 yeah. minutes, three seconds remain here in the half. FU still has to sink a basket. We welcome our televiewers watching all the way from Basco Batanes to Cagayan de Tawi Tawi. Ali Up, no. Bottled up and recovered by yes. number nine man. Carlos. That was Carlos that ran interference in that play. Celina Cruz earlier, he had a turnover. Finally, safely, just a step away, was Magtulis. Nick Dao 
Barlos was asking for that ball. Ronald Magdulis passing off inside. Nick Dow, nothing. Rebound, swatted away by Don Aliado. FEU keeps the basketball with 15 minutes and 38. De La Rosa coming in for Salino Cruz. They're playing too tight. Are we talking about FEU? And uh, they don't, they can't seem to take charge here. Except for Magtulis, nobody else can. And they'll have to learn. See, it's all Magtulis now. Ball's here in the right corner. Carlos. Swatted away by Ren Ren Ritualo. Ren Ren Ritualo will lose it. The dive by Aliado. The ball's loose and Ritualo brings it down. Four on two. On the right side, Dominic Oy. On the other side, Dino Aldegar. The ball fake. And now Dominic Sorfresho. Oh, and it drops. What action we're seeing here. What action by De La Salle. They never lost that ball. They dove for it. Aliado giving it to Aldeguer, and that's the score now. Six to nothing. De La Rosa inside. Trying to elude two defenders. He does just that, and now it ends up with Nick Dow underneath. Nick Dow the double pump, and then the conversion. Finally, FEU's in the scoreboard. Yes, that time uh, De La Rosa got away from Aldeguer and uh, Ritualo, and he went in. He threw the defense and dished off, huh? So it's a four-point ball game. Dino Aldeguer with a back dribble against De La Rosa. Another back dribble towards his right side. Now it's Ren Ren Ritualo, Dominic Oy for the pick. Ritualo going to Orfresho. Aliado's underneath, can pass to him. Dominic Oy. Then to Aliado, tapped by Nick Dow. Touch last by FU. Ten seconds and that was Nick Dow with 10, 10 seconds on the shot clock for De La Salle for time, their offense. Yes, time down to 14 minutes and 20 seconds here in the first half. Very low scoring again, only 6 2 so far. And you know, this, uh, this is a type of game our coach uh, Frank Kumar wants to play. Well, Carlos will be called for a foul. foul. That will be foul number Carlos. four for FEU. Only the first personal foul of Carlos. And De La Salle still has to commit a foul here in the first half. The inbound for Dominic Oy and De La Salle. Dino Aldeguer. Don Aliado's underneath now. He's asking for that ball, and he gets it. It's tapped, though, by Nick Dow. Back to Ren Ren Ritualo. Full shot clock is down to 17. Aldeguer to Ren Ren. Ren Ren, the shimmy move, and then it doesn't drop. Don Aliado was high up there. About five defenders. Falls on the floor. And now, De La Rosa's running away with that basketball. Clock tapped by, by Dominic. Dominic Oy. Yes, Dominic Oy, big clock. And here come the Green Archers. Don Aliado faking out, faking out, Nick Dow. It Aliado won't. practices the shot once again. It won't fall, it won't fall. But uh, Don is going to be sent to the line Paul, for two. Nick Dow. Give it to the big man. That's what Dino Aldeguer just did. Look at this. Goes around the rim and drops out of it. it. Aliado will take another look and practice that same shot. 13 minutes and 43. The score is only 6 points for De La Salle. Only 2 for FEU and Don Aliados at the free throw line. Only 2 points so far for FEU. They're still playing tentative here. They just have to settle down. And uh, you can blame them. De La Salle has been playing very good defense. Don Aliado is our MVP this year. Number eight man averages uh, over 60% from the free throw line. So Don Aliado makes his first pair of points from the 4.5 meter line. Again, the full court press of De La Salle University. De La Rosa breaking it. Carlos on the left side. The ball fake and then the dribble. Then he hands off. Well read by Don Aliado. It's a four on three break. Dino Aldeguer. Cutting the lane, the layup trickles down. Ten so, points to two. Yes, and Aldeguer's got six points in the ball game. You know, they haven't solved this uh, defensive pressure by De La Salle. They had two days to work on this. But uh, obviously, La Salle's still getting the better here uh, of this matchup, Jim. De La Rosa to Carlos once again, cross court Bacani. On the right side, Ronald Bactulis. 
Trying to go baseline, kicks it back out. Stolen by Dino Aldeguer. That's the second steal. And then Retualo wow. all net from the right side. You know what happened? Smooth I'm... moves for De La Salle. Yes, look at that, the traveling violation. That's going to De La Salle's way. Dino Aldeguer again. Dino Aldeguer, what a guy. We've got a timeout. Stay with us. Off to a start for the races. And yes, he won that tussle right there. Uh -huh. Intercepted last well, by Ren Ren yes. Retualo. You know, that's what Coach Danny Gavieres wants. He wants his uh, uh, players to, hey, play tough inside. No, Look at the fast break points. La Salle with 10. 10 out of the 12 points, fast break points La Salle. So that's why Danny Gavieres is furious now. He wants his uh, boys to go up a certain another level, Jim. Now Bakani unleashing one. It doesn't drop. Chaneco getting the offensive rebound. Back to Bakani once again. A full shot clock for the defending champion, Celino Cruz to Ronald Mactulis. Only has two points so far in the ballgame. Mactulis, two fakes, gives it back. Celino Cruz, Chaneco unleashing one. Still wow! Down. Still They're nothing. Just, yeah, completely off. Mactulis will pick up foul number two here. You know, very cold shooting from FEU. I'd like to know what the percentage is. Paul Probably Manaba. 10, 15 percent maybe. And, uh, you know that ploy of Magtulis going in and then passing out outside, kicking that ball out, does not seem to be working here because Aldeguer and the rest of the last light seem to have studied that. And what's that? Chaneco with another foul. It's Celino Cruz with a foul. Look at that. FEU with seven fouls. Team fouls. La Salle, zero. Tamaraos have to play their ball game. They're down by 10. 11 minutes and 37. Shot clock reads, 21 seconds, over to Dominic Lui. Now Cali Alfresho, Aliado, hard up underneath against Manabat. There's the isolation, Aliado moves to his left side. There's a foul by Manabat, so that's going to be penalty. That's going to send Don Aliado, the Paul MVP, Manaba. to the strike for two. Penalty. He's developed this move. Watch out. Go to his right, it's going turn to his left. Right there, there's, there's a foul. The there's a foul. Aliado started his scoring from the stripe. He's now back right there, 4.5 meter line. And what a, what a year it's been for uh, Don Aliado. Misses his first. You know, the thing I like about Don Aliado, you know, he's a center, uh, Jim, but he doesn't only play the middle well. He does the other, other small things, you know, like diving for the ball, assisting. So he's a well-rounded player and very deserving of the MVP award. Three points for Don Aliado, 13-2 to score, and 11-point lead. Dino Aldeguer always there at point on defense. Stripped away from Antulis. Manabat, the double pump. Wow, I can't, believe, I can't believe this defense partner. Ren Renitualo might go all the way. Little short. LaSalle really giving FU Tamaraos Headaches here, huh? Makani going baseline. What splendid defense by the archers. Yes, what splendid defense. They never stop. They never stop. It's a hustling, hustling type of a defense. And those hands are very busy. 13-2. 11 minutes. Only two points for the Tamaraos. Touch last by Ofresho. No, let, let go situation there. Let go situation. No uh, foul called. So uh, the Tamaraos will keep ball possession. In the baseline pitch. inbound. Bakani shouting his head off on the other side, but the referee says, get the ball first. Right. And now he moves to the other side now, <laughs> baseline. Coach, uh, Coach Gavieres and the team manager, Anton Montinola, you see LaSalle with three shot blocks. Very frustrated, and they talk to the players, tell them to settle down. Final Rosa finally had. The next pair of points for FEU at 13 uh -huh. and 4. Nine point ball game. Dino Aldeguer. Pats it really by Aldeguer. Leaves De La Rosa, Rosa behind. Aldeguer going to Don Aliado. What of the slam was fouled Mag by Magdulis. Magdulis. Going to pick up foul number three here. You know, Magdulis is throwing caution to the wind foul here. Magdulis. Or am I? There's a Only second. Only a second personal foul. And. Okay, that was a second uh, personal from Magtulis. My mistake there, I thought that was foul number three, but you have to watch it. 
As we see, uh, okay, that's uh, Chaneco coming in for De La Rosa. He might have sprained his foot. Wow. Talk about bad luck, huh? He was practically the only FU player doing well for his team here. And we see Victoria in the ball game. Victoria, Bacani, Cruz, Bagtulis, and Chaneco. You know, only Nick Tao and De La Rosa have scored for FEU. Three of four. Donaldo Barros. The left hand leg of the referee to wipe off the, <laughs> the sweat from his right hand. Swishes it. There's the green and white all the way to the top. It's a sea of green and white and denim. 10 minutes and 30. Don Aliado, another free throw. 61st UAAP. would also like to thank Enerbonny. Enerbonny Madat. Carter Brees, the official underwear of the UAAP. Look at the hustle by Kali Ofresho. Right. And that's what has brought uh, De La Salle's game to another level. You said it very correct there, uh, Jim. And look at hustle. this. De La Salle has yet to commit its first team foul. That's right. Chaneco goes to Salino Cruz. Two Lazulites left behind. Then Chaneco goes to the left. Lost it to Victoria. Victoria, it's watered away. Don Aliado lost that ball. Chaneco. Wow! Air ball. An air ball by Chaneco. Ball hit the foot of a teammate, but a good you effort know. by Dominic Uy, nevertheless. It hit the foot of Cali John Fresho. Ten minutes and seven. Everybody's jumping but up for that defensive rebound. 14-4 is the score. Yes, what's compounding the woes of FU now is that they're not scoring from the outside. Very low percentage, huh? They're, they're, boy, they're a bit stiff here. Finally, finally, Salino Cruz yes. getting one. 14-7 is the score. So let's see if that uh, can put their game to another level here. What a low-scoring ball game this is. Game two, 61st UAAP Seniors Division Finals, Dominic Oy. Ball goes to Ronald Magdulis. T two teammates on the left side, streaking down Chaneco. But Magdulis still there in the paint, almost stumbled. Salino Cruz, the smooth stroke. Long, and it goes to Magdulis. He's fouled underneath. Okay, let's see who that foul will go against. There was Dominic Uy, there was Don Aliado. That's Ball going to Uy. go against uh, Dominic Uy. We've got a timeout. Stay with us after the right here. Right there, the foul. Feel, feel the comfort of men's cotton underwear. Carter Briefs, the official underwear. Players to continue man-to-man -man defense. Coach Danny Gavieres wants the wings tonight. And he wants them to keep patient, to keep being patient on offense. He wants his boys to keep on staying in the game because there's still a lot, a lot of time to go. I'll take you back to the panel. Thank you, Ella. Nine Luigi. minutes and 28. Now Luigi on the other side. Okay, thanks, Jim. Over here at the Green Archer side, Coach Franz Pomarin's very optimistic. He said, guys, keep on the pressure. That's what brought us here. Another thing, he's going to go into Patrimonio and Don Aliado. Who else but them? Guys, take it away. Okay, Chaneco. there's a nice triple team effort by FEU. And they get a steal. Chaneco in the anchor. FEU now only three points behind. Nine minutes, 14 seconds remaining. Cruz is on the floor. Uh -huh. Nine minutes and 12. Well, that's a killer of a press that FU has come up with, huh? Let's see if Coach Franz Pumarin counters this with uh, better ball handlers. Well, we see Renren Ritualo in the ball game now for Valerio. 14 11 to score, three point ball game, and finally FU is back into the fray. We can, we can say that in game number one, they were completely absent from that ball game. Uh -huh. Their minds were somewhere else. But then again, it was all started by the pressure defense of De La Salle right off the opening buzzer. But, you know, FEU is showing us here that they have their own type of uh, defensive pressure. Too, as you see, Don Aliado miss a free throw. So I, I feel, I feel at this stage that the Tamaraos are getting their confidence level back now, Jim. Don Aliado, yes, 15-11. Ball's on the other side. Salino Cruz. Ready double team. He eludes it to the other side, left side this time. Only Mark Victoria is there to meet him. Bacani's waiting for a pass. 
Victoria. Again, yes, finally finds Bakani. Now Cheneco around the pick set up by Magtulis. Back to Salino Cruz. Over to Magtulis. Magtulis, the pass underneath to Cheneco. That's nice. the way they usually play. Oh, yes. Nice ball movement that time by FEU. And uh, look at that hustling uh, defense. Victoria will get a steal here. It's LaSalle's turn to lose the basketball now. Score is 15-13. We only have a two-point ball game as Ronald Magtulis is backing up on Alan Glenn Patrimonio. And underneath, Magtulis will kick it back out to Bakani. Over the top and to Dino Aldeguer. Leaves two Tamarangs behind. The pass too long for Renan Itualo. Caught by Bakani. And Bakani is tripped by Dino Aldeguer. So the foul will go against Dino Aldeguer. All of a sudden, a burst Paul of speed Aldeguer. by FEU. And boy, LaSalle needs this timeout. Time we'll out be back. Carter, feel the comfort of men's cotton under... On offense, look at this sneaky move by Ronald Magtulis to find Chaneco. It's now a two-point yeah. ball game, 15-13, with eight minutes and 11 remaining in this first half. That's right. Uh, LaSalle only has two team fouls here. FE already in penalty, but uh, FE has finally found their bearings here, huh? Chaneco giving it back to Bakani, who's free. And look at this. That's a Milo three-point shot. No, just a two-point shot. Another steal by FU. Tamaraos on the rampage. Hand off. Selena Cruz, short stab, nothing. Ball hustled to by Bakani, and he gets it. Over to Selena Cruz. Hustle with a capital H. That's what the Tamaraos are doing right now. Then look once at again, the handoff by Ronald McToolis playing the decoy. And the Tamaraos have the two-point lead. Actually, FU giving the archers a dose of their own medicine here. But Trent and Ritualo doing that and foiled, swatted away. Seven but minutes and 23 remaining. Okay, LaSalle will keep ball possession. That's Kuan in pounding. Tamaraos woken up from their slumber from the past game. Aliados bottled up finally to Renan Ritualo over to Ronald Kuan. Kuan to the left side. There's no one there for Mis the pass. Yes, it's, it's miscommunication time now for the Green Archers. And you know, I don't think they expected this full court press from FEU. They seem to be a bit lost at this stage. Huh? They don't know how to handle it. This was the kind of FEU defense that won them the title last year. And now to the other side, Selena Cruz is guarded by Ronald Kuan. Cruz wanted a pick from Taneco, but goes to the other side. And then it goes to Magtulis with 15 seconds on their shot clock. There's ready help defense from Monosen. Bakani is free again for I'll another Milo three-point shot. I'll tell you what, Monosen gambled and lost out. He double teamed that left Bakani open. There's a foul. The foul by foul Salino Cruz. Cruz. Turnovers, LaSalle now with 10, FEU 7. And a lot of those turnovers in the closing minutes here. Time remaining 6 minutes and 41 seconds. Kuan the line for 2. And look at this, Salino Cruz just got his third personal foul. And Medina will check in. Let's see who he will replace. 6 minutes and 41 Probably Salu Salino Cruz. Let's see. Kuan will miss from the free throw line. LaSalle started out very well, but uh, FEU had a surprise for them. Medina will be checking in when FEU has its time here. Congratulations to Dr. Josefina Cortez for her investiture as UE's ninth president on October 8th at the UE Theater. And of course, uh, as we watch the Tamaraos play, congratulations to the FU Lady Tamaraos for bagging the 61st UAAP title in the women's division. First runner-up was UST, second runner-up was UP. All right. Tamaraos lead by 4, 2016. Ronald McToolis using the window, nothing. Victoria over the top, but Patrimonio is well positioned underneath and Kuan brings it down crossing the timeline 23 ticks on their shot clock six minutes and 13 remaining first first half 
Jose to Patrimonio. Rampaging inside, he loses it. Well, a lot of uh, defensive men for FEU. Salina Cruz gambles. Now it's one against two. Brendan Nitwalo wisely will wait for teammates and be more patient. No field goals in the last five and a half minutes. That's De La Salle because of that tenacious defense put up by FEU. Jose missing. Getting his own miss. At the baseline, it's lost, but touched last by Chaneco. Five minutes and 41 to go. Yes, Still in the first half, FEU has woken up. And now is leading by four at 2016. The baseline inbound to Renren Dutualo from Kuan. Kuan takes his place outside the rainbow line. Now to Monose. The cut by Ritualo. So Batulis was ready. Somebody falls on the floor. Victoria taking time to stand. And that Ritualo! left Ritualo free for yes. a Milo three. You know, I wish our cameras could catch the crowd here. Everyone's, they're all standing up. They're all standing up, Jim. They paid for their seats, but nobody's seated here. Chaneco moving to the other side. The ready double team, Dominic Wui. But he was too late as Ritualo fouled. Foul, Chaneco in that foot race at the sideline. Five minutes and 12 to go. 2019, a one-point FEU lead. But Tamaraos have possession. So watch this. Ritualo is going to shadow Chaneco. There's a foul. The Richie foul. We have a timeout here. FEU timeout. Stay with us. We'll be back. The Coliseum, especially in a full pack stadium like this, the crowd at each other too, aside from the basketball going on on the hard court. Five yes, minutes Jim. and 12 remaining in the first half. It's a tight one with FEU leading by one, 20 to 19. Remember, FEU is already in penalty. De La Salle has only committed its third team foul. Now Medina is on the right side against Ronald Kuan. Yes, Victoria is free. And then had to struggle for possession. The baseline move back out to Bakani. Inside now. And then Victoria for the short jumper. Long rebound. Manabat. It's lost. Medina recovering. Medina's block. Body contact. There, there must the have been, yes, there must have been body contact downstairs. It was a clean block upstairs. Zamora. Medina who has just checked in, took it strong to uh, Zamora. Watch this. They're going to get that ball right there. There's a fake. And he went into Zamora. So to initiate the foul, got the foul. Medina now on the stripe for two. Referees for this ball game once again. Brian Tabanyag tags Certeza. It runs off. Medina looks to his teammate Bakani. He's, re he's reassured. He shoots very well. Medina, that uh, you yeah. can do the second one. He's an 80% free throw shooter, actually. So he should make this. Yes, he does. Two point ball game, 21 19. Renden Ritualo, Zamora. Look at this double teaming defense by the Tamaraos. Kuan. It's a swarm of flies, actually, huh? Oh, yes. All four or five go to the uh, ball carrier. For a while, they looked like the Tamaraos of last year. The rampaging Tamaraos, you're right. Wanna say inside, Alan Ben Patrimonio. That's a foul. No, no, no foul there. No foul. First deadlock of the ball game, rather the second one, the 21 21. Full court press for both squads. Medina against Ritualo to the right side. There's the double team, and now Chaneco with the one hander. Excellent press break that time by FBU. And then their turn to press. Kuat to Patrimonio. He's not a dribbler. That's right. That's not the player would like to give it to. But he wiggles out and gives it to Monose. Deep, oh. too deep. Yes, bad shot selection Chaneco. that time by Monose. Tamarao's on the run. What a pass to Victoria, but he lost it. An excellent tight pass, but Victoria couldn't handle. 23-21. Tulis checks back in to replace Victoria. Chaneco so, also come, goes out. Yes, and so does Orfresho for Juan Jose, who took that uh, harried attempt. Valenzona sees action for the first time. For Chaneco. Yeah. Yes, FEU, look at that uh, press. Huh? They, like, they like it. They like the results here. And they're still going to go with it. Ronald Kuan to uh, Alan Glenn Patrimonio. Kuan once again. 
over to Alfresho, popping out is Litualo, but then Zamora is free and is blocked by Manabat. Zamora recovering, Kuan losing, ball is loose, Magtulis with the dribble. Two Tamaraz on the left, another one on Whoa! Oh, that, that side, but blocked by two defenders. Adela Sal, Alfresho three on one. He finds the floor, the foul called against Valenzona. Well, that time Ritualo was open on the left side, no? He was open on Valenzona. the left side. And uh, even Zamora was running down court. So uh, Orfresho might have wanted to give that ball up. But look at that complete rejection by two last slides. So Gali Orfresho goes to the 4.5 meter line. Gali Orfresho is an 84% free throw shooter. And you didn't jinx it. 23-22 opportunity for another deadlock. De La Salle could be the third of this ball game. Again, it's a defensive struggle here. Look at that. 23 all. We have 3 minutes and 14 seconds remaining in the first half. Both squads playing full court presses here. Huh? Ball One. game turning out to be a classic yes. like the one against UST and De La Salle. Medina rattles in. Medina, that three, three point shot. Uh -huh. Three point lead, Kuan in trouble. The Twalo in trouble. Look at that. They're all diving for that basketball, and then a three on two, and Zamora's blocked partially by Magtulis. LaSalle playing very poorly here, play, doing, making very bad decisions, huh? taking it one on one all the time. They're not Found moving Zamora. that ball, they're not looking for the open man. Two fouls. Two fouls on uh, Zamora. Five team fouls now for De La Salle. And, and very quickly we see Don Aliado and Dino Aldeguer back in the ball game. Two minutes and 44 remaining. Medina's asking for help, but he goes to Magtulis. Seems like no ready full court press. Right. And you know what's good about FEU right now? It's not Magtulis really doing the scoring. Everyone is contributing, Jim. Donald Bagtuli is going to the left side. Valenzona popping off from the corner. Medina spotting from that side, nothing. Manabat helping out, but Alfresho coming up with a rebound. Alfresho, ready double team. And now Ritualo on a three on two. Goes to Patrimonio, who finds Manabat on the floor. And now it's with Bakani against two defenders. Pops one offline. Rebound, Don Aliado. I can't believe the struggle between these two teams, huh? Patrimonio missing two, ba two uh, good bucks earlier. It's not yet the last two minutes of the ball game. It's just the last two minutes of the first half. Rebound taken by Ritualo. Free and clear shot. It bounces off to Manabat's arms. A it's minute and 39 to go. Well, I'll tell you, the Salas had their open shots. And their shooting average has dipped somewhat. FEU now setting up, moving that ball around. Manabat underneath against Aliado. That was a fishing expedition that got nothing. Now Dino Aldeguer won't pass to Orfresho. There's Ritualo. Orfresho finally on the left corner will not take the shot. Then Dino Aldeguer on the right side. Shot clock says 18, and then this cut by Dino Aldeguer. That's going to count, plus a foul. So nice move by Dino Aldeguer to slice the oh, middle. Medina. Got that assist pass. Watch this, right there, give and go. Patrimonio will see Dino Aldeguer. He's going to give up that basketball. There's a foul, and the continuation is given Dino Aldeguer. Chaneco coming in for uh, Medina. And Dino Aldeguer, number 11 man, about 38% from the free throw line. We have a minute and 11 remaining, just a one point ball game, and Aldeguer. at the strike makes it 26 26. that's a long time a minute and 11 seconds you know just getting two points is a big accomplishment here huh? with that score standing at 26 all they've sold that full court press by that kind of inbound passing somebody else getting the basketball behind the end line ronald mctulis Kicks it back out, gets it back. Ronald McCullis offline from where we are. 
Now the three on two, Dino up again. As somebody inside, that's Donaliado. Nice dish off by Dino Aldeguer. LaSalle again playing smooth that time. Salino Cruz will try to leave Aldeguer behind, but then stops and will opt to set up the play. Cross court is Valenzona. Magdulis is winded a bit. Manamat giving a pick to Valenzona. Valenzona to slay up. Well, they'll have Could have been good, but not yes. enough. One possession here for De La Salle. What a struggle it has been. This first 20 minutes, down to just six seconds. Five. Somebody's got to take a shot. Aldeguer. Nothing swatted away. That's the end of the first 20 minutes. And De La Salle up by just a pair of points. 28 to 26. We'll be back. Back, way back. GA has the edge with Milo's halftime analysis. Milo, the Olympic energy drink every day. You're back with us here at the Big Dome and uh, La Salle enjoying only a two-point lead after going ahead 13-2 early in the game. 28-26, that's the halftime score. It has been very interesting. La Salle getting off the good start with that full court press. FEU had a surprise in the second 10 minutes. They came back with their own swarming defense. And then that's a score of the half. La Salle had an 11 point lead that was trimmed down. FU even got a five point lead, but La Salle came back strong to end this first half. Now we have the leading scorers for you, and we'll flash that on your screens. Right there, Chaneco. You know, Chaneco are six, Bakani five, Medina four. Magdulis only with two, and there were other, four others for FU that scored. So that's a good thing now. FU, all, all uh, players getting involved in scoring. For the Green Archers, we have Aldiguer with nine. Aliado with eight, Ritualo seven. And uh, going now to the stats here, you will see FEU with the lower stat, 29%, but they converted more since they had more attempts, 10 out of 34. La Salle, 38%, but they only had 24 attempts, nine scored. Why is that so? You will go to the turnovers, La Salle with 13, FEU with seven, rebounds that belongs to La Salle, but they couldn't score because of the turnovers. Steals, FEU, they had six because of that swarming defense, man to pre full court press, six to two, and fast break points still belongs to La Salle at 14 to four. But what a change of events here as we see Chaneco go straight in, get the two points. They have their bearings back, they are playing very. Uh, Aggressive now. We talk about FU. They started out very slow again, but they came out strong, and uh, that's the reason why we only have a two point lead for De La Salle at half. Very nice adjustment made by coach Danny Gavieres. He himself said, Okay, let's put up that swarming defense, and uh, La Salle could not do anything. They had, I think, four or five straight turnovers as we, we see Patrimonio give it. Give that basketball to Aldiguer, who was fouled and converted. So Aldiguer completed that three point play there. And there's a referee signaling the foul. So we will have a very, very interesting second half for you. Can't hear myself. The crowd is very noisy here. But stay with us. We'll be back. Miss, ano tong tapsi? We're about to start it. The score after the first 20 minutes was 28 to 26, and a two-point lead only for De La Salle University after a crippling full court press was exhibited by the Tamarals. Very similar to the ones they used last year when they got the title. That's right, Jim. And, uh, you know, LaSalle got off to a 13 to 2 lead, an 11 point lead. But FEU, they had a surprise, huh? It's, you know, the, the full court press, it's not one on one. It's like a swarm, a swarm of flies going to the ball carrier. And that confuses whoever has the ball. So let's see how how they do that here in the second half, because I'm sure Coach uh, Franz Pumarin will make the ne necessary adjustment. They had uh, some time to talk about it in the huddle, no? Two galleries watching that will not be denied their title. One game for the De La Salle Green Archers. Tamaraos need to win this one for a third and deciding ball game. 28-26. It's been a low-scoring ball game for the first 20 minutes, partner. Yes, and well, the good thing here about FU now, they have their confidence level back. If you notice, when they started, it was like they were playing that first game yet on Monday. 
and uh, till they put that full court press to work. Good adjustment made by coach Danny Gavgeres. Right. This jump ball brought to you by Petron, the wave of change. And it's won by Dominic Boy of De La Salle. Adina Aldiguer, Kalio Fresho, pops one from the left side, doesn't drop. Ronald Bagdulis grabs it from his own teammate, Edwin Bakani. Selena Cruz signals play number three. Looks to the left, can pass to Cheneco. Yes, Finally that. to Cheneco after he pops out. And then Cheneco with this. Oh, was a handoff. Charge by Cheneco. Again, Don Aliado, he positions very well. Coach Dani Gavieres saying why, you know, when you, when you commit yourself in the air, watch this, you commit yourself, you are going to charge into someone there, and Don Aliado had position very well. Full court press. Underneath, Don Aliado. That's what happens. You leave one man open when you go to that full court press. But they were very quick to recover also, the Tamaraos. They came back very quickly. Inside, Don Aliado using the glass. Four-point lead, De La Salle. Aliado is very strong inside. One-on-one, -on -one, he will score. There's got to be help defense coming all the time. Cruz goes to the right side. He's a left-hander. Ready double team. Fourth coming. Goes to Bacani. The Cruz will ask for that basketball. Shot clock says 18. La Salle is not full court pressing now, but they're going to a half court defense. No? Inside, Celino Cruz. He wiggles in. It drops out. He was all open for that attempt. Huh? He didn't finish. And the Salas has a chance to up their lead to six now. Dino Aldeguer. It's like a man zone defense being, being employed by the Samaraos because of Don Aliado, the big man, no? Who's positioned himself on the right side. Renan Ritualo missing. Rebound taken by Ronald Magdulis. Met by Ritualo. One man less. De La Salle. That's going to count. That's going to count. Chaneco, a very shifty player, gets the basket inside. That's a foul, probably from Orfresho. Orfresho with his first personal foul. First team foul for the De La Salle Green Archers. Also, FEU has the same number of team fouls. It's 30-28. Chaneco's at the 4.5 meter line. 18 minutes and 17 remaining. <laughs> that gallery behind the goal. The Sal Gallery trying to get a shot of Chaneco. They do. No three point play for Chaneco. Our pressure leaves two defenders behind. Dominic Oy is free on the right side. Long rebound to Mark Stevens Victoria. Back to Selena Cruz with third. Partner, the Green Archers have their chances uh, at scoring, but they are not scoring. As we see, but Mar Tulis. The one-hander from the right side uh -huh. makes it a deadlock. And that's only the fifth deadlock of the ball game. 61st UAAP would also like to thank Enervoni. Enervon Manan, Carter Brief, the official underwear of the UAAP. Now Arfresho. Cross court Aldeguer. Snap pass. Aliado double teamed over to Ren Ren Ritualo. Ritualo for the jumper. Offline and right above the rim, the left hand of Don Aliado. Towering over everybody else, Don Aliado eluded that uh, body check on him. No box out for him, so he got the two points. Oh, five second violation is called an FEU. Aldiguer and Ritualo credit that to both green archers, huh? Pressing so well, and Coach Danny Gavieres will not. Uh, well, I'll tell you, he, he must be a bit frustrated because I'm sure they've practiced this many times before. So Gavieres not wanting to argue that call of the ref. That was a very good call by the ref there. Ball tapped by Chaneco. Only two seconds elapsed in the shot clock of De La Salle. 17 minutes at 16. 32-30, De La Salle by a pair of points. Dino Aldeguer has Retralo on the left side popping out to the right. And there's the pass. Quick double team. They go to the middle. Dino Aldeguer goes to the left side. No one on Cali of Fresho. Long rebound goes to Edwin Bacani. Bacani dribbles his way down. 
waits for teammates wisely. Now Magdulis. Well, you know, Bakani saw Aldiguer beside him, so he had to hold on to that ball. Bakani getting it on the right side. Loses it. Turnover situation again here for uh, FEU. It's and a 32-30 ball game. 16 minutes and 43. You know, it's been a struggle here like that game against UST, huh? That's right. No lead going about five except in the opening minutes as you see Aliado miss. Aliado asking for a foul from the ref. He's got to settle down. He might be given the T here. What intensity put up by Don Aliado, this year's MVP. They're leading by a pair of points. They don't want FEU to equalize. They want to lead by four uh -huh. or five, depending on this play. Calder Fresho, Dino Aldeguer. Full shot clock. 19. That's what it reads now. Lost it. Aliado. That swarming defense on Aliado. Cruz. Oh, Jerome. Taneco. away. Two yes. on one. Aldeguer. Oh, what a move yes. by Taneco. Taneco. Oh, and that's Warding off for Freshers, Bakani, so it's getting a bit rough at this stage. You gotta earn your points, partner. But Taneko really chased for that layup, uh -huh. Dino Aldeguer. Well, Aldeguer took the ball away from him, so he came back. Mark Stevens, Victoria. Takes a J. Offline. Ball's loose. Dominic Uy. Swarming defense once again. Yes, Uy did it with well, his elbow. You know what happened here? There was contact on Oi that the ref did not call, but he retaliated. And that's what look, there was a foul there, no foul called. There's another one, and boom, he's gonna give Saneko the elbow. So coach uh, Coach Frank Pumarin calling the attention of Dominic Oi here. Don't get mad, get even. 32-30. <laughs> La Sam. By two, they gave it up on that foul by Dominic Oi. Oi's second personal foul with the second team foul also of De La Salle for this half. Selena Cruz, two. Ronald Magdulis is free, but he passes off to Bakani. Ball goes to Magdulis again. And Don Aliado. Aliado with a big rebound. At Nick Dow. And it's this Nick Dow in the face after that big board. After getting the rebound, yes. Now Cali or Fresho. Surrender and Ritualo. Can't pass inside. Ball's on the left side. Okay, the foul will go against Bakani now. Some trash talk going on between Bakani and Don Aliado. <laughs> Bakani only his first foul. It's team foul number two. For FEU. I tried team fouls here, two apiece. 15 minutes and 10 remaining. Still a two point ball game. It's been tight. Now it's Ren Ren Utalo. Shot clock says 25 ticks for De La Salle. Lots of time to set up. Or pressure on the right side. Ball fake to the right. And then this move. Yes. A beauty of a move coming from Cali or Fresho. Nobody expected that. Here comes Taneko. Taneko sees the open lane, but too much in a hurry. Utalo. Stolen wow. by Celino Cruz. Did for that. Then again, the top by Aldiguer, but they get it back. Oh, Bakani boy. takes a pop. Yes, yes, yes Bakani. Wow. Talk Two about points. action, Piper. Two-point shot only. Wild and Woolly. 34, 32, 14 minutes and 23. Dino Aldeguer cross court. Calio Fresho down to the dawn. Don Aliado at the baseline, the quick double team. Or Fresho to the middle. Aldeguer trying to slice. No. Gives it back. Ren Ren likes that move. But it doesn't drop the rebound. One-hander by Bactulis now Bakani. Goes to Celino Cruz. Goes give it back to Nick Dow. Now Bakani is free. Yes, he drills it again. So it's FU's turn again to take the lead on a boomer. Kaboom shot coming from Bakani. That zone defense, huh? that man zone defense of FU is causing LaSalle some problems now. They can't seem to get the ball into Don Aliado. Two on two, Salino Cruz. The foul given up by Dino Aldeguer. So two free throws here for Salino Cruz. What energy we're seeing from the small men 
Saneco and Cruz of FEU. Aldegar with the second personal foul, 13 foul for De La Salle University. 13 minutes and 35, FEU has a one point lead. Jason Webb, Dean the Pumarin, watching from the sidelines what they'd give to put on a jersey right now. Our referees are Brian Tabanyag and Tag Seteza. And what a job they're doing. A very good officiating from these two referees, Tabanyag and Seteza. Cruz at the free throw line. Smooth stroke of the 4.5 meter stripe gives FEU a two point lead. Keep in mind that FEU wants to win here to extend the series to a winner take all on Saturday. La Salle will be the champions should they win today. Gets it to drop, three point lead for the Tamaraos, 37 34. Defending champions do a full court press once again. Look at this tap, Aldeguer eludes it and goes to Cali Orfresho. Orfresho cans it from the side. That's the way to break the press. Oh, yes. And LaSalle now is on their own full court press. They were uh, at half court before. Okay, there's a the pressure by Dino on uh, Selena Cruz. FBU has the one point lead in ball possession. 21 seconds on their clock. Ball's on the right quarter court. The bounce to Ronald Mactulis. Far from the low post, but he backs down on Patrimonio. Back to Mactulis. Doesn't leave Patrimonio behind, but then sneaks in for a pass to Nick Dow. Beautiful dish pass when nobody was looking. Mactulis to Nick Dow for the two inside. All Green Arches eyes on Mactulis that time. Dino still has it. The press on Valerio, and then two on one underneath. Don Aliado will finish this one. That's what happens when you full court press, you take a gamble. That means you are outnumbered if you're able to bring that ball down, no? As in that case where LaSalle scored through Don Aliado. Ronald Bagdulis gives it to Salina Cruz. Second on. The clock for the 10 second call and just crosses it in the nick of time. Now, Ronald Mactulis. That's a foul by Patrimonio. First foul of Patrimonio, 14 foul on De La Salle, 12 minutes and 14. FU yes. has the slim, the slimmest of leads at this point, the one point <laughs> lead at 39, 38. And, and you know, that foul was called against Patrimonio for reaching in. Anytime you do that, especially in amateur rules, the refs will call that. Look at that beautiful dish pass, huh? That was free. Again. Smooth stroke once again from Bakani. Yes, Bakani likes that. He's in the group. He's got his rhythm going to make it a three-point ball game. Our pressure bumps into Matulis. And Valerio bottled up. Valerio is blocked. Good defense. No, there was no charge there. There was no charge because... When you receive the ball, there's that bench of FU reacting to that. You're, you're supposed to give the ball carrier two steps. Finally, it goes to Don Aliado. Dino Adiguer. Fresh shot clock for De La Salle. To love it inside Patrimonio. Double threat at low post together with Don Aliado. Outside the rainbow line, Adiguer will find Valerio. Valerio threw up a prayer of a shot. And the ball goes to Bacani. That's FPU right. Valer has a three-point lead. Well, Valerio playing a little out of control that time. Medina using the Magdulis pick. Now Bacani once again. No more smooth strokes this time. Valerio comes off with a rebound and Medina with a loose ball foul underneath. Well, I'll tell you, Valerio has been hustling very well. Even if he's missed some uh, attempts, he's been... Coming back through oh, defense Medina. and rebounding. Now it's Ritualo coming in for Valerio. Bacani winded, replaced by Chaneco. Uh -huh. What a stretch it has been for Bacani. Responsible for this lead of FEU. We have a timeout. Carter, feel the comfort of men's cotton underwear. Emergency service. For more info, 636-0560 three, six, three, six, six, to 65. Lifeline always ready here at the Arnetic Coliseum and the EAAP. 11 minutes and 16 to go, 41-38. A war of words in the bleacher section. That's right. And we have Ella 
at courtside and okay jimmy i'm here now with a de la salle university personality it's maui roca here i'm gonna ask him one question maui if you were there out there playing for la salle who would you want to guard on the feu side uh ronald bagtulis why he's he's the uh he's feu's main man okay that's about it from here i'll take you over back to the panel i mean oh, yes ex archer now it's showbiz. 41, 40. Well, well, for a while, FU thought that the ball wasn't on play because uh, there was uh, something going on in the bleacher uh, section. Uh -huh. And yes. that's a slam by Don Aliado. So right. now a one point ball game. Aliado has it on the right side. The fall away using the glasses, nothing. But Patrimonio is there. He takes up a lot of space underneath that cylinder. He's got that rebound. Oh, yes. Good offensive board by Patrimonio using. His height foul technical weight to his advantage. Watch that. There's a foul. And that's going to send him to the strike for two. So a lot of actions, action going on even in the pictures. Let's hope uh, nothing untoward happens here, uh, Jim. This has been a hell of a game. Bleacher section more like a war of words than anything else. Ten minutes at 23. Both teams have 14 fouls apiece. Uh, Patrimonio misses first charity. Now he ties the ball game up at 41 41. Sixth deadlock of the ball game. Things has been like a pendulum. Up back and forth, back and forth. It goes to Salino Cruz once again. Cuts the middle. After crossing the timeline, the ball goes to Nikdao, though. Nikdao is cornered. The pass inside. And then it's lost to De La Salle. Then Medina steals it back again. Ronald Mantulis. Well, I'll tell you, I like the way Medina positioned. Yes, Medina positioned very well. And he's got the three. Medina, Medina has just come three into the points. Ball game. Instant points from Medina, huh? 44 41. Under 10 minutes. Steal by, steal by Nick Dow and Salino Cruz is all alone. Well, what happened? There were only two green archers to bring that ball up. And against four FU Tamaraus. Patrimonio. Now to Renren Ritualo, who's strong. Aliado's right there to help out Ritualo. There were just two of them there. It's a good thing Aliado got an offensive rebound. Three-point ball game at 46-43. Ronald Magtulis, no teammates yet. Very wisely, they're going to set up now. Why not? They have a three-point lead with nine minutes and ten seconds in the ball game. Ronald Magtulis with 11 seconds on the shot clock. Goes to the right, backs down on Patrimonio, does a fake, does that for nothing. And Aliado getting the rebound. Ofresho in a hurry. Ritualo's on the left side. Ofresho sneaks to the right. When and nobody when no, a pair of points. Yes, when nobody was looking, they expected Ofresho to give that pass to Ritualo on the left side, but he took it all the way. Cali uh, Ofresho already has 10 points in this ball game. FU though still has a one-point lead. Chaneco to Medina. Medina earlier can that three from the right side. What a shot that was. Now Chaneco with this drive almost tripped and Magtulis is bottled up. Gives it to Salino Cruz. The stroke is long. A pressure will find Ritualo. Ritualo is all alone. Goodbye. He was a gunner there. Ritualo dashing very quickly to their front court as his pass coming from a pressure. Medina wants a clear out. Whoa! A pressure falls. That was a flop. Steal by Kuan. Kuan. Three on two. Kuan does a jumper offline, but Ritualo picks up the garbage and it doesn't drop. Dick Dow is there to save the day oh. for FAU. Oh, it's second motion. They're not going to call the second motion, so that foul will go against our pressure. 47 46. Well, second foul on the pressure. Manabat well, was the 15th foul for the Green Archers. Yes, Manabat Makani coming into the ball game. And Monose also checks in. So ref is now talking to the players, telling them to calm down. No second motions here. We're going to call the fouls. Seven minutes and 48. Right there, referee talking to Coach Danny Gavieres. 
The defending champions playing like defending champions. Oh yes, they want to keep keep the game going here. Medina on a crouch goes back to the other side against Ritualo. Now faces up to his defense. And Bakani is there on the right side. Over to Manabat against Patrimonio. Manabat likes the short jumper, but then gives it back to Cruz. Oh. Medina will lose it on a pass from Cruz. Yeah, he, he did have full possession yet, Jim, and he was looking to pass the ball inside. In the process, he lost it. That could have been a crucial, crucial turnover. Uh -huh. Kuan to the other side, Patrimonio is there. Over to Monose, back to Kuan. Ritual is asking for the ball, he's all alone on the right side. They did not spot him. Now Kuan. Jose popping out of a pick, but Ajado is there for this turn. Yes, he has owned the paint right. in this year's seniors division season. Two pop fakes by the big man, Don Aliado, gets his man in the air, and he scores the two points. 49-46, De La Salle by three. Six minutes and 49 seconds away. What would be another title? Last one in 1990. Nick Dow, the turn, short, rebound. Goes to Nick Dow, and then lost to Kuan. Important possession now for De La Salle. And they know, can this one. Yes, really, uh, Jim, every point counts here. And uh, it's been a struggle just to get the points. Kuan going left, looking right, Ripualo, sneaking fast, and then the turn by Patrimonio. The push from behind. By Nick Dow, another foul on FEU. Nick Dow with his third personal foul. FEU with his 15 foul. Right. So, so both Nick teams Dow. now with five team fouls each. That's Magtulis now and Victoria coming in for uh, for more firepower and height. Nick Dow and Medina rest. Inbound. Kuan. Together with Aliado, Patrimonio. Monose, Trenden de Tuala. Against Manabat, Magtulis, Victoria. Bakani and Selena Cruz. Red Red Ritualo unleashing one that was on a straight line. Look at Aliado. Yes, look at Aliado. For that rebound, but yeah. he lost possession. You know, he came from the right side, from outside. Huh? Not able to secure, however, that board. De La Salle is protecting a three point lead. To Selena Cruz, it goes. Met by Kuan. Cruz cutting the middle, going to Magtulis, the three. Doesn't drop. Manabat inside. That might be a charge. Might be a charge on Manabat. Again, good position by Mon Jose. That was very clear. He tried to force the issue inside. Defensive foul. And Manabat. got that foul. Watch this. Matulis will miss. Manabat very quick to react. He'll get the board. Three last sights on him. That's Mon Jose there on the left side. And he forced it. And I should say also good flop by Jose. <laughs> Five minutes and 42. 49 46. La Salva on top by three. Do they smell a championship? Nice flop from behind. Victoria with a block. Ritualo missing. Rebound. Goes to De La Salle still. What great rebounding offensive board for De La Salle. Jose. Gives it back to his point guard. Don Aliado's just there. He's rested a bit, just waiting for a pass now. But there's good guarding by Manabat. Uh -huh. Manabat's over on the other side. The other scoring threat, of course, is Renan Ritualo. Finally, it goes to Aliado, and he almost lost it. There's a double team. Aliado wiggles out of it. It's a double dribble oh, by double, Don Aliado. Yes, double dribble violation will be called on Don Aliado. Chaneco back in the ballgame for Manabat here. Coach Dani Gavieras wants a bit more speed this time. Cruz and Chaneco have been playing very well in that press. And now Dino Aldeguer is back, and there's no holding back now for De La Salle. Cruz is there, Chaneco is there for FEU. There's Magtulis. It's a complete lineup. This is now or never for either team for game number two. Forced it. Selena Cruz. Yes. He warded off, uh, he warded off Dino Aldeguer here. We'll see that in slow-mo. 
This may be costly turnovers, huh? Watch this, watch this. Aldeguer is there, shadowing him. His right arm, there's a foul. Monerson out, takes a rest or pressure is back in the ball game. Alan Glenn Patrimonio for the inbound. Latino Aldeguer, a pressure's on the left side. Aliado will be waiting. Giving a pick to Ritualo. The ball is still, though, with the point guard. Now it's now with Ritualo. And then Aliado underneath this move. There's a foul by Ronald Magtuli. Actually, all, all, almost uh, a three-point play there by uh, Aliado. Wasn't able to sink his uh, basket. Watch this. Inside to him. We have four minutes and 42 Remaining in this ball game. FBU with a fresh title and they defended it valiantly. Aliado missing, the MVP missing his first charity. Right. You know, in the first half, LaSalle missed four for 69%, nine out of 13. Three out of four, 75% was FBU. Huh? Down the line, this might fail. Five out of nine, Aliado from the free throw area. The next four minutes and 42 seconds will be a test of fortitude for the defending champion. As they are down right now by four. 50 to 46. And the full court press once again displayed by the Green Archers. De La Rosa is back. He goes to his right side. Does he have the number of Aldeguer? We'll see. Now Cheneco goes to his right. Taneko, this pass, and then Taneko picks That's it up, and go. that drop. That's going to count. Miracles do happen, and Taneko for Taneko. Ball, ball dropped, and he has an extra charity. Watch this, partner. I don't know how that ball went in, but it did. And the foul, the foul, watch, okay. He's going to lose the ball here. He'll pick it up, throw it inside. There's a foul. And the ball finding the net. A lot of hands waving in front of him. Taneko missing though. No one contesting that rebound. That's right. On the other side, they just let it go. That's right, and no FU rebounders there. Two point ball game. De La Salle is ahead. 50 to 48. Renan is all of the ball fake. Dino, tiptoeing and retrieving. Inside, Alan Glenn Patrimonio is blocked by Ronald Magtulis. And now De La Rosa, he won't risk a pass underneath. Chaneco is hot from the drive, and now Victoria. What a oh! move by Victoria. Could be part of a highlight film for this ball game this time. It's tied at 50, 50, Final we'll be song. back. Mm, canton. Right, Headlock, the FBU Tamaraz, it's 50 and 50. Off this move by Victoria, look at this. It's, can't get any tighter than that. You know, I'll tell you, Jim. Like I said earlier, FU's got a lot of pride. They're defending champions, and they just won't let go. They'll come back. They'll come back. So, that combination done very well for uh, the FU. Tamaraus, Saneco Cruz, Magsulis, Victoria, and Bacani. Once again, we thank our sponsors for such a wonderful season. Enervon, Carter, Reeves, Petron, Milo, and Puma, Alaksan. And Adidas. Three minutes and 54 remaining. This is game two, 61st UAAP Seniors Division Finals for this year. First game won by De La Salle. They need another win to bag the title. And that ball was lost yes, by Orfresho. Chaneco tapped that ball away, hitting Orfresho, and it went outside. So, uh, very good hustle. Ball hawking Chaneco. Cruz wiggles out of the defense put up by Orfresho. Now it goes to Bacani. Salino Cruz wants help in setting up the offense. Popping out with Magdulis, looking down for a cutter. Bacani was there, no pass forthcoming. And now Victoria. 15 seconds on the shot clock, Bacani. It's stripped away, a clean block. Brendan Ritualo, will he be rewarded? Yes! A great block by Ritualo. He does that so well from behind. And then quickly on the other side, the handoff, Victoria Chaneco. That's the open lane, and he uses it with this layup. 
and he's fouled. You know, both squads will have to be aware now to take their time. They, that's Foul. still a long Aliado. time, three minutes and six seconds, and they can still set up, huh? Watch the echo. Here he comes. There's a foul. Chaneco goes to the strike. With some morale boosting words from teammates Alina Cruz, Mark Victoria. But he has yet to can a free throw. Needs another one to tie up the ball game once again. Chaneco one out oh. of three. Well, he's a pressure player. As we see Ritualo score here. For the eighth deadlock, this one. Doesn't drop. Ritualo for the rebound. One point advantage. De La Salle. Aliado couldn't get a handle on that. Hold on to your seats, partner. Strap on. Back and forth we go. Ronald McToolis against Patrimonio. He's got the edge and the quick first move. It goes to Selena Cruz. The stroke drops smoothly. Oh, net 54. 52. Two minutes and 35. Selena Cruz cannot be left outside, especially during crunch time. It's a Salster now. Who wants to take charge? They'd like to go to Don Aliado. And Don Aliado gets it there and cans it smoothly, too. Tied ball game, 54 54. Wow. Here we go, the end game. Take a deep breath. Selena Cruz has the basketball. We're down to our last two minutes, brought to you by Adidas. Feet you wear. Selena Cruz earlier, the stroke, and then the one hander, yes, for Ronald McToolis. Again, Aldiger gambled and lost out. FEU has the two point lead. FEU is defending. And Orfrecio pops one. Yes! Whoa! Tied ball game 56 56 for can, the ninth time. All I can say, Jim, these are warriors we have on court, huh? Nerves of steel, both squads. Ball tapped by Dino Aldeguer. 20 seconds on the shot clock. A minute and 21 on the game clock. Time and we have this timeout. We will stay here and try to slice the tension that's so thick here inside the Coliseum. Well, I'll tell you, Jim, it's a little man of uh, FEU, really, Chaneco and Cruz. Earlier you had Medina. Uh, De La Rosa, they're the ones making things happen here for FEU. Very gutsy plays as far as they are concerned. and scared of Victoria. And that's what we call coaching my family, a lot of help. And that's what uh, De La Salle has tapped into by getting a Pumar and back at the helm for a possible crack at another championship. Hasn't been there. Right. Last time was in 1990, and now with a minute and 21, this ball game only has the referees ahead at 56-56. Jimmy, if you recall the last time around, uh, points off turnovers, that belong to La Salle with 30. Well, in this game now, turnovers 18 for FU, De La Salle 23, turnover points 26. Hang on for a dramatic finish. Oh! Turnover. with an errant pass to Chaneco. A minute and 15 to go. 
Could this be the last game of the season? The next two or three plays would decide that. Aldeguer to a fresho. Ritualo is there. Someone there on Aliado also. Ritualo, no one on him. Now Aliado is free, but it goes to Orfresho. Aliado's just talking on the left side. And so is Ren Ren Ritualo. Ritualo finally unleashing one. Oh! And it drops! Ritualo! And that was taken Ritualo! from the parking lot. Hey! Oh, there is possession. Look at this. There's a foul. A foul by Bakani on Ren Ren Ritualo. What a player he is. While no one was looking, Ren Ren Ritualo, after converting one from the parking lot, oh, no one was Bacani. watching him, and he stole that basketball, and De La Salle's ahead by three, with 43 seconds remaining. Oh boy, what a virtuoso play by Ren Ren Ritualo, huh? He first had that three-point shot, and when nobody was looking, he stole off a Tamarau, and got two points here. Ren Ren Litualo at the free throw line. Crunch time. Free throw number one goes in. And if free throw number two goes in, it will be a five point lead with 43 ticks of the clock. And all of a and sudden. I believe he has the title in his mind but it's all the process that he needs to concentrate on the process of a free throw it's good it's all net it's a five point lead de la salle is ahead 43 ticks of the clock the crowd here about to explode do the tamaraos have it in them to recover selena cruz to ronald mctulis that's from the parking lot it doesn't drop Orpresso hangs on to the basketball. Wow, Jimmy. Look as at if this. one hand was on the trophy for this year's title. Oh, yes, 33 man. ticks of the clock. Look at this crowd here. Look at this crowd. Direct, could you focus the crowd? The crowd just about to go wild here. De La Salle with 33 ticks of the clock is digging a hole so deep to bury something they have lived with for the past five years. Oh, yes. Right. And Orpresio unleashing the charity with right. hands up raised. As if in yes, he says. Exaltation up High there, fives just. for Patrimonio. He goes back for another free throw. And look at that crowd. The hole to bury the stigma of the past few years. And then Aliado. Oh, there's a foul by Mike Victoria. He was going to dunk. He was going to dunk. But you know, Victoria. nobody from FU even went for the defensive board, Jimmy. The they Tamaraos just, are frozen. They've given up. They've given up. And it must be the energy of this crowd here at the Araneta Coliseum. Holy cows, this crowd about to explode here. Aliado fittingly with the free throws. And he misses the first. It's 62-56. Oh, boy. Oh, that is it, partner. And this crowd is anticipating this gallery of De La Salle, anticipating a championship. 63-56. 30 ticks of the clock remaining. And we have it. Hindi pa po tapos ang laro. Hindi pa tapos ang laro. Wag muna kayo magkala. 33 ticks of the clock. Ng mga bagay sa loob ng court. Hindi pa po tapos ang laro. This hard court. Partner Coach Danny Gaviera is complaining. They'll have to clear the court. They'll have to clear the court. Hindi pa po tapos ang laro. Hindi pa tapos. 63-56. Long time rivals. Wag muna tayong magkala. From eight years back. Some controversy that went with championships. As this decade started, and Anton Montinola is on, is on the Green Archer's side. And you know, what a gesture by yeah. the managers here. Two managers side by side. What a gesture it is. Johnny Valdez, a Johnny Air, and Anton Montinola side by side and talking to each other. Yes. 63 56 with 30. 30 seconds to go. That's true sportsmanship on the part of Anton Montinola, huh? Conceding defeat with 30 seconds to go. 
went over to the Green Archer side. What a class act by Anton Montinola. There's a long shot. It goes in. Cruz, he drops. Salino Cruz, Cruz the a three. 63, 59, 20 ticks. Four points remaining. Will there be a steal? But then it goes to Aldeguer. 14 ticks of the clock. Four corners offense. They go to Renren Ritualo. Aliados has got That's his right. arms are braced now. It goes to Aldeguer. Four ticks of the clock. He's smiling. That's he right. throws it to the crowd. And the clock yeah, takes yeah. down. Yeah, the yeah. champions are de la Salle. They have buried the stigma of the past five years. And they are now champions. With Don Aliado right beside me. Hands of praise. He will celebrate this championship. A score of 63. 59, tell us all, the Green Archers are king. We'll wrap this up after these reminders. Look at oh, Look, the shot hasn't stopped rejoicing. Well, for five years, they're waiting for this. As I have said, they have buried the stigma of so many second places. And we go to our Carter Brees, best play of the game. Yes, this was where in, uh, watch this. Renren Ritual will bury a three at the most important time in the game. Right there, that was a big three to give Lasalle a three-point lead. And right after that, he will steal the ball there. So that's a Carter best play of the game. Still got that crowd. Going to our Enerbon Extreme Rebounder of the ball game. There, there's a steal. That's a steal by Ritualo. And there's a foul on him. Can't be better heads up play than that one of Renren Ritualo. And with that foul, the free throws. We have other free throws I, I would coming like, after that. But right, I would just like this to... man played, right, played right. really well. It's hard out. Our Enerbon extreme rebounder of the game, Don Aliado. Two offensive rebounds, eight defensive rebounds, a total of ten. Domination in the paint for Don Carlos Aliado, the extreme rebounder of the game, will receive a gift back from Enerbon. Enerbon energy to the extreme. And our true value MVP of the game, also... Don Carlos Aliado, 22 points, 10 rebounds, one steal, one block. The MVP of the game will receive a gift certificate from True Value. True Value help is just around the corner. LaSalle wins its championship to the tune of 63-59. We'll be back with more after these reminders. This October... We will take you to a place where there is sand, water, sun, and women. The 53rd U.S. Women's Open. Watch the final round on Wednesday, October 7 at 10.30 in the evening. And the dramatic 18-hole playoff on Thursday, October 8 at 6 in the evening. Only here on PTV. Bet you thought it was something else. Brought to you by Petron. The wave of change. Oh yes, the sea of humanity has landed on the hard court, and we turn over to our interviewers. We can't even see them. And Ella, let's go, go back to you. Ella, out again. Okay, I'm here now with a happy De La Salle crowd. Come on, guys, if you want to be heard. Guys, come on, let's get some words from you. That's a happy batch. And there's coach Franz Kumarin giving the victory ride by his players. Why not? Roman Kumarin, Derek. It was like big France. brother handing the torch to younger brother uh, Franz from Derek. There's it. Go LaSalle fight three times. Go LaSalle fight. And uh, no denying them this year, the centennial year. Wow. The De La Salle Green Archers are the centennial champions. Let's see if uh, Luigi is ready for an interview. Okay, Luigi, take it okay, away. Okay, right now I'm with Dino Aldeguer and the team captain of the Green Archers, Dominic Uy. Guys, you have the mic. Uh, finally, to all, to all the La Salle supporters, finally we got one. We got one for you guys. This is for everyone. First of all, the Lord, we want to thank the Lord. If not thank for him, Lord. 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 it's all yours, Lord. 
If there is anyone who will cherish the ch this championship, it's Dominic Oy, who is on his fifth year. Kali or Fresho? Both of them, right, right. And even uh, Glenn, but uh, Alan Patrimonio, no? Look at that. They came here to support their team. They refused to be denied the championship, and this man led okay, them to one. Okay, now me, Don Aliado, the big man. You got the MVP. I get everybody talk. Now it's your turn. I, I'm speechless right now. Um, I'm just so glad we, we won it. You know, I mean, the last couple of minutes was really hard for us. It was a tight game, you know. That, um, and then all of a sudden, Renwick came up with that miracle shot. I, I, I praise the Lord, you know. And I, I just want to say thanks to my mom and my dad. My Tita Mara, my, you know, Freddie for supporting me all this time. Because without them, none of this, you know, would be possible. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Zami Zamora, one of the key players. Zam, anything to the last slide? Uh, first of all, to all the Lasallians out there, this is for you. We've all waited for this so long. We did it. We did it. Finally, after all these years. Thank you to everyone. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we got it this time. Well, you. Yeah, after 70 years, it's ours. Number one, number one. Woo! Okay, that's all for you for now. We'll turn it over to the guys in the panel. Well, we'll be back with more of the celebration here at the Arnetta Coliseum. As we look at this slow-mo and this shot underneath, he has dominated the paint for this season in the seniors division. No that's why that. he's the no MVP. Oh, yes. We'll Definitely. be back with more. This October, we'll take you to a place where there is sand, water, sun, and women. The 53rd U.S. Women's Open. Watch the final round on Wednesday, October 7 at 10.30 in the evening. And the dramatic 18-hole playoff on Thursday, October 8 at 6 in the evening. Only here on PTV. Betty thought it was something else. Brought to you by Petron. The wave of change. <laughs> King Archer right there, Don Carlos Ayala celebrating his MVP. Oh, yes. Celebrating his title. <laughs> and why not? Look at him. That's the <laughs> north side of the Arnetta Coliseum. He's about to take that net for a souvenir. And we'll see if uh, Ju Turquato is ready for the awarding of the trophies for this year's championship. Let's see. Ella, Ella, Ella you ready? Ella has some interviews. Okay, I'm here with one of the MVPs of this team, also is part of the Mythical Five. This is Ren Revitualo. Ren, the game was tied. You shot a big three-point shot. How do you feel about that shot? <laughs> Great. I can't, can't say anything else. I can't ask anything else. I'm sorry about feeling. I'm sorry about this. Second year, you're the champion. I'm sorry. I don't want to say anything. Sorry, Taro. I don't want to say anything. I'm sorry I was struggling the whole night. Very important shot, I made it. Thank Lord, thank Lord. Okay, you heard it. Back to you guys. Alright, then it follows. As reason to celebrate with that shot, that was a backbreaker of a shot. And uh, now, let's see. They're trying to clear the center court as the players get their souvenirs from this year's championship. I'm sure uh, I've got some seatmates very happy with the result of this ball game. And Mr. Trillo, congratulations. <laughs> hey, well, I think it's about time after all these years, but I'd like to congratulate also all the Green Archers. But more than that, the whole UAAP board, uh, the schools and all, you know, USD, NU, U I mean, all of them. I won't forget about Ateneo, but look at that. Uh, That's an very game happy. right there. Yes, but I was going to say, if you really came out to play, huh? they did want the South to win today, but the South was really hot today, yeah. Well, so yeah. different from uh, what we saw in game number one, the Tamaras really extended the Green Archers in this ball game. But then the breaks went the way of the Green Archers. If you sink three-point shots at crucial moments, you get a title that you really deserve. They deserved it from day one, as we have mentioned. Championship written all over this De La Salle Green Archers squad. The fans will celebrate uh, right behind us. And oh, yes. uh, right now, we've got Jun Turquata ready for the awarding ceremony. Supporters for clearing the center court. Thank you very much. Please clear the center court now. Thank you. Thank you, Lasal.
please clear the center court for your basketball team to bask in their glory. Okay, we're here uh, court side, we're, yes. We're still, yeah, we're still waiting for uh, the awarding of trophies here. The rituals but, uh, of victory and championships. Uh, and then two Torquato right there with the thumbs up side. The trophies. Okay, Miss Santa Ana from UE will be awarding the second, the second runner-up, first runner-up, and the championship trophy. Well, let's start. Mr. Jose Adelantal will be awarding the second runner-up trophy. So the second runner-up goes to the University of the East, the UE Warriors. Congratulations, UE. Okay, Dean Gonzago of UP, the VP of the UAP, will award the first runner-up trophy. So the first runner-up of this year's basketball tournament goes to Far Eastern University Tamaraos. They were the defending champions. Back to the finals. Congratulations, FEU. This year's first runner-up. Yeah, the picture, Muna. Okay, to award the championship trophy. It's Miss Lou Santa Ana, this year's UAP president. Okay, it's been a long time coming. We have a new UAAP champion, the Telesol Green Archer. our family thank you and Aldegar for our court side checks right beside us and uh, Luigi Trillo of course does the ball game and Jude Jude, Jude Cuatro, right somebody, behind me a few words from you well I just want to say uh, it's been a great year and I think the champions La Salle really exemplified our theme for this year which is all heart and they played with a lot of it tonight and uh, look at the celebration huh very okay. well said Jude on, so on behalf of the panel here uh, Luigi Trillo and uh, Ella Aldeguer and Jude Torquato, Maki Trillo, Jimmy Avier, and for our directors, Bebs, and everyone here, including the gallery, and everyone, the whole staff, Ari Paz Garcia, and our Bob Poncho, who is uh, Louis Carrozzo, also watching this ball game on behalf of Superstar Sports, all our cameramen, everyone. On behalf of Channel 4, Superstar Sports, the whole UAAP board, we'll see you next year. It should be a more wonderful season ahead of us, the 62nd. We look forward to that. And once again, we like to say, we'll see you all on Saturday.